Hey, it's Ben, and this is Dramble by Beep Street. In this video, I'm going to go over a really simple rack called Hertz Detune that you can get from Patch Storage. And this is it's all about detuning. Um, so, regular detune. And Drambo is really easy in an any synthesizer, as long as you have more than one oscillator. It's easy. Uh, you know, you zero in the detune that you like, and then you play with it. But the detune... The beating between the oscillators is never consistent um, up and down the keyboard. The beating is usually slower the lower you go, and then it's faster the higher you go. Um, some synthesizers have a feature called beat detune or constant detune. And basically all it does is alters the pitch of the oscillator or the frequency of the oscillator in actual hertz, um, beats per second or beats per minute. Um, and that allows you to keep the beating constant. Um, and that's what this um, rack does. So you can hear it in action. Um, right now we're just hearing oscillators two and three. Three is not being detuned at all, and two is being detuned by the, the Hertz detune. So I'm gonna slowly increase it. So you can get really slow phasing. Or you can make it a little faster. Or you can make it really fast. But it's always going to be consistent up and down the keyboard. And sometimes, not always, Sometimes that makes for like a more pleasing kind of pad sound or any kind of sound. But it's a nice effect to have. Um, so the rack, when you, it, it's really pretty small. There's a little explanation, a readme. It has a pitch input and a gate input. The only controls are the Hertz offset, offset. There's a scaling, and this is really like a global scale for the amount of detune. And then there's also an LFO scale, and then you get an additional LFO that acts within like the Hertz detuning. And the LFO has an amount, and then you can also control the, an additional scale on top of that. And you can choose any kind of LFO mode. And especially in a sample and hold or sample and hold ramp where each voice is actually a different amount of modulation. That sounds very pleasing. Um, I suppose we could do a, you could add in voice number control just with an additional module um, under unison. And then each voice would have, you know, a slightly different um, amount of either speed or um, amount of detune. So that would be cool. Anyways, um, those are the controls. It's very simple. There is an additional mirror mode. And that involves a second output. So there's a beat detune. And then there's a mirror output. When mirror mode is off, this is just passing through the pitch from the MIDI to CV. When you turn mirror mode on, it's subtle, 
But what this does is, um, rather than detuning up from the bass pitch, it actually splits the the beat detune and the mirror outputting up and down from the bass pitch pitch. So for like higher offset amounts. You can hear that in mirror mode, they're actually symmetric to the bass pitch. So they would be equally out of tune uh, with any other sounds that you had um, in your Drambo project. So that's, how it so that's pretty extreme. So what I like to do, or one of the things I like to do is sometimes have like different Hertz detunes and you can get these interesting little patterns or maybe you change the octave. And I often do this with a saw because it sounds so nice. You get that like phasey sound. But with sine waves, you actually get the noise the signal is like canceled out. That square wave sound kind of cool. I suppose any sound can sound kind of cool. But in a nutshell, this just lets you get that constant um, beat detuning up and down the keyboard. Have fun.